Hey, this is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. This important teaching of the church, the Assumption of Mary. What does it mean? Why is it important? Well, first, a little clarification on terms here. Here's a picture of Jesus in a cloud, signifying that he's in heaven. His ascension is the story of him going up into heaven, both body and soul. So that's the ascension. The ascension. Mary going up to heaven, that she was taken up into heaven after her earthly life was over, is called the assumption. The word assumption means taken or taken up. And this is a significant teaching in the church. It was believed by the early church fathers. It was a part of the church's prayer. In the Eastern church, they call it not assumption, but the dormition, the sleeping of Mary. And this comes from this teaching in St. Paul's letter that and to the Corinthians about Jesus' res- resurrection being the first fruits of those who've fallen asleep, that, that those who die will get to experience the resurrection, and Jesus was the first to, to you know, bridge, bridge the gap between our life and death as the end, and then our life being risen. So why, why is this teaching important for Mary? Well, we know Mary was born without original sin. You know, she was the Blessed Virgin Mary, full of grace. And because of that, her body didn't have that stain of sin. Jesus being ascended up in heaven, both body and soul, also applies to Mary, who was without sin. So the assumption, what does it mean? Why is it important? It's both body and soul in heaven. Now, we're really familiar with this idea of, of when we die, going to heaven with just our soul. But the church teaches, Jesus taught, has always taught that, that the resurrection is not just about our souls, but also the resurrection of the body. Jesus' body was risen. St. Thomas put his fingers in the wounds of Jesus because his body was there. His body was not in the tomb. It was risen. And that's the resurrection that we get to experience as well. As a church, we don't hate the body. The body is a good thing. It's a part of what God has given us as our lives. And that also is risen. Why is the assumption significant? Because here is the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, being taken up both body and soul up into heaven. Now, we don't have an account of this in the Bible. We have in the book of Acts, the Ascension, but the Acts of the Apostles are in the book of Acts, not the Acts of Mary. So we don't know necessarily what happened to Mary after that story, the Pentecost story. We do know that Jesus gave her to the Apostle John to watch over and vice versa. So there's lots of tradition there, but the actual event is not in the Bible. But the teaching remains a part of the church's history. We have in the book of Revelation, the story of of Mary, of a woman being clothed in the sun, standing upon the moon. That's significant, showing Mary's place in heaven. And this teaching clarifies that just as Jesus was risen, ascended up into heaven, both body and soul, so too was Mary. Something that I like to reflect on when I think about this mystery of the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary is how much Jesus loved his mother. That Jesus loved the mother of God. Jesus loved his mother so much that he took her up into heaven, both body and soul, with him. That she experienced something that we get, will get to experience as well in the resurrection on the last day. And what a gift that he gave to his mother to bring her up with him, to be with him in heaven. I just imagine that, that love overflowing out over to her to be brought up into heaven, and how much that very same love is going to be shared with all of us in that he's bringing us up into heaven, both body and soul, on the last day. It's a great mystery to reflect on and to think about. So the Assumption of Mary talks about Mary being taken up or assumed up into heaven after the, at the end of her earthly life. Something for us to reflect on and think about how it applies to us and our own resurrection that's coming when we are in, in that full of grace state as well and on our way towards heaven with the Lord. Go make disciples. God bless.